I'm Dixie Jones, co-founder of the Family Foundation, my husband Trevor. Together we founded the foundation about six years ago. Our children will run the foundation. The idea is it'll last 100 years. Just trying to help others, primarily homes for people in need in Vancouver and Africa and Central America. And we invest some money in Avalon Society, which is a ladies charitable organization. We saw a need for women who have substance abuse problems. I mean, there's lots of focus on the down and out, but there wasn't much focus for women who are married and had children with alcohol problems. Somebody that they could go and get counseling and not be treated poorly. So we started with that and it's grown, but it's been very successful. There's four offices now around Vancouver that we treat a lot of people. Forming relationships with other people with the same kinds of problems, it works very well. We've been doing that for about a dozen years. We're supporting Covenant House. It used to be strictly they could not be on drugs, but now we've, we're funding a new wing, which they're they are on drugs and that's really challenging, but we're trying. We give a lot of money to Provision Charity Foundation, which uh, does a lot of things in Africa. Kenneth Morrison was our accountant and we work with him to create ideas on how to help people. We have a medical dental problem in Africa. They don't have enough dentists, they don't have enough doctors. So the, to get the doctors and the dentists, you have to train them. They had facilities somewhat to train, but they had no accommodation for them. So we built a building right next to the university. It started out just for females. It was really a huge need for it because the girls, it was dangerous at nighttime going to and from, from classes. So the fact that we could have this right next to the university was fantastic. And, you know, I think it housed about 400 and some odd students. They charged them a little bit of money. Now what we do with the money that they charge them is we are training people to teach dental hygiene. We've got four or five uh, trained people, bought a four-wheel drive, and they go around with books, and that trying to teach mostly mothers how to look after the children's teeth, because they don't really have much knowledge. We've done more and more in Africa, mostly in schools, trying to teach mostly dental. Dentistry problems in Africa are just awful. We have some books in English and Swahili trying to teach the children about dental hygiene. And we work a little bit with some dentists out of Vancouver who give their time and go there and, and do dental work for like a month at a time, which is very admirable. I, last time I was there was about six years ago with Dean and Cole. That's Dean's son. So they've now graduated quite a few of these people. We've gone back to the communities and helping medical dental. More recently, we have been supporting New Story Homes. They're developing communities in Mexico and Central America and being very innovative in, by helping families own land, build credit, and then back mortgages to build their residences and also build equity. I think Trevor's pretty well hit it all. It's just wonderful to see that um, what we seem to do is very helpful for the women, and that's our priorities, to make sure they're safe and they have a place to live.